hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make parfait for commercial purposes if this sounds like what you'd like to see or watch please don't forget to hit the subscribe button like this video and share it these are my products and we have variety of product this is our granola and our yogurt brand so if you need more info about our courses or, uh, or how to get our products please check the description box below we're gonna start by cutting this apple yeah i'm using green and red apple i'm just gonna chop it into cubes and this is how i go about it please ensure you take out the seed part and you just cut it like i'm doing then cut it into cubes to get the perfect apple slices Here I have strawberries. I'm just going to cut it into slices, like the way you slice your plantain ahead, like that. These are the two methods I'll be using to make my parfait. I'm going to be using freehand and I'm going to be using the piping bag. Our yogurt is so thick that it can turn upside down without pouring. So that's how you know a good and a perfect Greek yogurt. Please check the description box on the link to our course. Here I'm going to be using the piping bag method and I'm just going to pipe into my cup. This is the buffet cup we'll be using for the purpose of this video so i'm just going to be using the piping bag the piping bag method is so easy it's so easy the freehand method takes time to get used to so i'm just going to throw the apple into the cup and put in my granola this is our delicious granolas they're so yummy crunchy have almond coconut flakes cashews raisins cherries name it a lot of things inside and it's spiced properly i'm going to put another layer of yogurt the essence of doing this way is you have different layers that you can see the things inside like you you're already living the experience before eating it actually so this is what our parfait looks like you can replicate this in your business or in your personal life so you can serve your family this way after adding my apples i added my granolas with lots of almonds and strawberries later on in the video i'm gonna add the berries so This is the second method. If I don't want to use the piping bag method, I'm just going to use a spoon. Still going to follow the same method by adding my green and red apples, then pour in my granola. Ooh, this granola is very crunchy then put another layer of yogurt then the apples i like to arrange them green red green red green red so it pops you can totally avoid or skip this part you don't have to follow these rules you can just pour in your apples then pour in your granolas our delicious granolas Then the last step is the yogurt. Can now do the final arrangement. Please know that I washed my hands and they are very neat. And this is, although this video is for a commercial purpose, but this this exact one I ate it after making it. We usually use gloves. This is just for the purpose of this video. This is so yummy. Ah, the people that are gonna eat it they're just waiting there to consume like consume <laughs> because they know we are going to eat it after we are done this is the end result hope you like the look it's so yummy so this is just basically how we package our products and send to the customer 
cover it put a sticker and put a spoon the spoon has to be as tall as the cup so it can go deep inside so this is what it should look like we package in a paper bag and send to our amazing customers hope you enjoyed this video do have a lovely day don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video i'll see you in my next one bye bye for now don't forget to check the description box below for the links promised in the video that's the link to the course and the link to our instagram page